afternoon, all you got to do, amen, to tonight is just let Jesus come into your heart. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 16, verse 19. Are you back out of 16? All right. And I was thinking about, you know what, now, church, before we preach a little bit on hell tonight, we've got to preach a little bit on heaven tonight. Right. Amen. amen. I love to preach about heaven. Yeah. I, preach, I like to preach going there because, see, the Bible tells us in this time we're living in, all we see is heartaches and tears and killings and murders and, and everything else. Amen. And the Bible tells us, I looked in the back of the book, that if you get discouraged sometimes, all you got to do is just look in the back of the book and it tells you where you're going. Amen. And chapter 21 of Revelation tells us we're going to have a new heaven and a new earth. But the Bible says all things will become new. I say, I'm going to a place where there's no more tears and no more heartaches. I'm going to go to a place that you can too, where there will not be no devil, no death, and no separation. I'm looking for that. Amen. But the meanwhile, the Bible says that we are a people. If you've got Jesus as your Lord and Savior tonight, the Bible says he shields us, amen, with favor. Now, church, I don't know about you, there's no better way of walking with God if you're walking in favor with Him. Amen. Church, I've really preached it. There's many times that I've looked up to heaven and said, Lord, I need a favor. Amen. And you said, amen, if we walk in your favor. And church, let me tell you something, He always comes to true. Amen. Yeah. And I was just thinking about Now, church, we, we're living in a time, amen, the preachers like to tickle your ears and people like to preach what you want to hear and just bless, bless, bless. God is good. Now God is good, Amen. And, and you know, you know what? You don't have you don't have to give me a thousand dollars. I said you don't have to give me a thousand dollars for me for me to give you a prayer cloth. Amen. Because if, if you want a blessing, they got people. It's amazing how many people that say they're Christians and they listen to the garbage on television, being deceived, and all they, that person every time he turns up, he, we turn to turn him on. He's always talking about prosperity, and he's always talking about I, I want God to Amen to bless you. I'm going to let you sow a seed. Let me tell you something. I sowed a seed a long yes. time ago. Yes. I gave my heart to Jesus. Amen. Yes. And then the Bible says by walking his favor, walking his word, he said, I will be blessed. Glory to God. He said, you'll be prosperous and you'll be successful. And that's all I need. Can I hear an amen? amen? I don't need no man to tell me, praise God, that I'm going to be blessed if they just, amen, send you, send you $500 or a 1000 Jesus already paid the price. I said, he paid the price. Glory to God. And I, all I have to do is walk in his favor, walk in his work. Glory to God. And I'm happy to do that. He said, Joshua, he told Joshua chapter what he said, you're walking by word. And not turn to the right or turn to the left. Glory to God. He said, you shall be prosperous and you shall be successful. And I will never leave you nor forsake all glory. I'm about to get it. Amen. Amen. As well as a man in the right. church, I like to bless you and everything because I'm telling you, I'm going to preach about hell tonight. Amen. amen. I don't want to go there, and I don't want you to go there. And Jesus, Amen. He talked a lot about, it. Amen, about hell. And church, the Bible tells us that I want you to stay with me in Luke chapter 16. But the Bible says in Mark chapter 9, he said, you have heads. The church people, some people don't want to let go of what they got, amen. They want to hold on to things, amen, that they know that they can't be prosperous. And they want to hold on to things, amen, that they know that's going to send them to the devil's hell. But seem like the devil's got them blinded. And they just want to hang on and hold on to things, amen, that they know it's not good. But Jesus said, you can't hold on. He said, let them hands, amen, know that you that you not be, amen. Been lost, but this is what the Bible says. And if thy hand uh, is uh, offend thee, cut it off, it is better for thee to enter into the life man and having two hands and go into heaven or to hell. Jesus preached that to Amen to them that he didn't want nobody to go to hell. The Bible says in Mark chapter 9, Amen, verse 45, and he said, If I would, now people was to go to places and, and places like that and, and, and not serve God, sure as we tell you something. I don't think there's any more in the in, in the world that I want to go to that I, I would want to be there when Jesus comes. But this is what I'm saying, church. These old Peter Green girls are taking the places, amen, that, that you've been lost or you go back on your own ways. I remember on, on 
Saturday and Friday nights and Saturday nights. Uh, these old people would take me into little barns and everything else. Uh, and then you know what? I would say to myself, I hope pray that Jesus don't come back. Amen. Church, I would be lost. How many been there, amen? You yeah. walk to the places, go to the place that you know you shouldn't have been, and yet you, you say, Well, Lord, just be merciful to me. But church, he may have he might have come back and we would be lost. Yeah, right. 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 Jesus emphasized this church. Bible says it's right woods. Amen. If he's he cut it off, it's better, amen, to go through life maybe, amen, without a good, amen, than go to the devil's hell. That's what Jesus emphasized, church, and he also talks about the eyes. The Bible says in Mark, Matthew chapter, Mark chapter 18, verse 9, talks about, he said, if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out. Now, church, a lot of Christian people like to look at things and they must think that they shouldn't watch. Can I hear an amen? A lot of Christians, you wouldn't believe, but they have like to if they're watching the, uh, the, the black and naked women and show them that they shouldn't be watching. Can I hear an amen? Amen. And, and, and they shouldn't be doing that. I mean, we got so-called Christians are hooked on all these things. And Jesus said, if these things offend you, in other words, if these things will cause you, amen, to, not to go to heaven, you need an amen to uh, get rid of it. Amen. So if you gain the whole world, lose your soul, what have you gained? Right. Church, I want, I want to go to heaven. Amen. I want everybody to go to heaven. God wants everybody to go amen. to heaven. But church, we tell you, a lot of people's not going to make it there. Right. It's because they're not, amen, obeying God. I said they're not obeying God. Amen. And Jesus, I mean, preached more really about uh, hell than he did heaven. Right. Lord, I thank church. I thank God I'm blessed tonight. Amen. I thank God that you're blessed tonight. Amen. You're saved tonight on your way to heaven. Praise God. God has got good things in store for you. And the Bible tells us, glory to God, that he doesn't want nobody, amen, to face for his wrath. He right. said he sent his son Jesus down. Glory to God that we can all be saved and not have to face the wrath of God. Yeah. I'll give them one hand clap for my church. But the Bible tells us it's going to come for everybody, church. We're going to either one place or the other. This thing is stuck for some reason. Don't you know, ever try to take their holy way from it. It's not going to do it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But let's start in Luke chapter 16, verse 19. And he said, There was a certain man that was clothed in fine in purple and fine linen, and fair substance every day. Now, church, you'd be surprised that a lot of people, amen, because, they, because of, I believe with all my heart, the devil can bless you just as much as God can. Yeah. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. And I believe a lot of people are called that they are prosperous and, and, and they're living, good, uh, living a good, prosperous life, that they think they're all right. This rich man thought he was all right because of the Jewish custom and everything. But they, they were, everybody was blessed because they were God's children. But church, this man wasn't blessed because he wasn't walking in obedience. We've got to walk in obedience to God. Amen. When God tells us something or shows us something, amen. we've got to do it or we are end up lost. Can amen. I hear that man? Amen. And the Bible says in verse 20, And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid in his neck full of sores, and, and desired to be fed with the crumb that fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angel to Abraham's bosom, the rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. Amen. Now, church, me tell you, I do, I do be a beggar, amen, and go to heaven. I would be rich and have all the finer things in this life. Or this, that's what Jesus was really referring to. You can have all the finer things in this life, and you don't walk with God, and you don't have God in your life. You've lost everything. Amen. I said, you lost everything. And that's what Jesus is trying to bring across, amen, to us, to the, the people, to us. Amen. We've got to give it all to Jesus. I said you've got to give it all to Jesus because he wants to bless you. He wants to give you life. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be successful. But church, we've got to walk and please it to him. Oh, give the Lord a hand clap. I feel it. I feel it. I'm going to go there. I want you to go there. I believe there's a hell. And church, I want to shut hell. I want you to shut hell because hell is real. There used to be a time when I was a young Christian. These pastors and preachers, and amen, they would preach hell so high. 
that you can actually see yourself and they may in the in feel the park and the flames yeah. come out. Can I hear an amen? But they, they just come to a place that they, they don't want to preach hell because I don't want to disturb the people. Right. I don't want the kids to hear this because they'll have nightmares and all this other stuff. Well, let me tell you something. If God didn't put it there, amen, he, he, he wouldn't have wanted us to preach it. Can I hear an amen? But we need to tell people, the young people, like I said this morning in Sunday school, it's time for moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, amen, to get rid of all this other stuff that's causing their children to be lost. And I kind of hear an amen. amen. That the spirit ever died, they have and everything else in sports and everything, try to get them to be a Johnny Bench or something. Like I said, probably one of them even would even right. make it there. But yet they, all that successful thing they tried, but they, what not do they tell them about to Jesus? Amen. They don't tell them about hell and they don't tell them where they're going and they're not giving that example. Church, we right. need to give our children and grandparents, right. right. we need to be an example to them and show them that heaven is more than important than anything. Right. My kids, when they were living a while, say, God, God, I, I want them to be prosperous. Amen. I want them to be blessed. But God, you can bless if you will. I want them to be saved. That Amen. was my, my and sister Maggard's desire is to see our Amen. children saved and on their way to heaven. And I had to be that example. I had to pay the price. I had to let them know that Jesus meant more to me than anything. But we don't see that. They're walking in pleasure. They're walking in the way of their life. They're hanging on and holding on to things they that they shouldn't be holding on to, walking in, in places that they shouldn't be at. Right. And they're not giving the, the children a life. And they're not being that example. And they wonder why so many young people are on dope and alcohol. Right. These young people, they need Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said they need yeah. Jesus. Yeah. They need to know about Jesus. Yeah. And they need to know that, that, that Jesus loves them. And he, he wants them to go to heaven. Yeah. And he will bless them. Can I hear your name? Amen. That's the most important thing Amen. in our lives as parents and grandparents and, 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 and friends is to see our young people saved Amen. and on their way to heaven. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we sure can't send them to school anymore. Right. I mean, we got a bunch of fools in school and everything. Right. They want to teach them everything. Why is why this, uh, amen, is bad, black, is good, and everything else, church, and now that they're, like I said, they're doing away with science, and they're doing away with the, with history, and now they're trying to do away with arithmetic and writing, and, and, and what is that with writing, arithmetic, and the three, the three R's. Right. And they, they, want, they want everybody to be stupid. I tell you, we can't be born to be stupid as Christians. We got not people going to devil's hell. Right. Amen. And see, not, we're not concerned. I, we need to be concerned that hell Amen. is real, church. And hell is real. Right. And we need to teach our children and be an example to the children and our family and our loved ones and our neighbors that, you know what? We want them to go to heaven and right. Jesus loves you. And Jesus will love you. I don't care whether you're a saint or a sinner. Right. He will love you to that last yeah. breath. Amen. Amen. But when that last breath is taken, right. you then it's up to you for judgment. Yeah. I'll give away a hand clap to you. God is made God is a merciful God. God is a merciful God. He's a loving God. I, I think he, he just tried to deal with that rich man for, for years and years and everything. But he kept on going his way. You can't do that today here an amen. Amen. And the Bible says in verse uh, 23, And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. Now church, the people mocks and makes fun about hell. They, they said, well, well, when I get to hell, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have me a party. And I'm going to get my friends. Let me tell you something. There's no party down there. Right. There's no alcohol down there. There's no drugs down there. There's no good things down there. I mean, his torments. It's if you're in a flame of fire. Can I hear an amen? And we need to show the people and tell the people, amen, that hell is real and it's a place of flame. It's not a place of joy. It's not a place of purgatory. It's not a place that you can come out, amen, when, when the, you pay the bill and everything. When you're there, you're there, and you're there to stay. Being in torment. And he see Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. I believe this is one of the torments that, that a lot of lost people are going to see. Yes. 
Number one is they're going to be able. Now, thank God we as Christians, we can't look down right. and see all the things are going on in hell. Right. We, we, that wouldn't be heaven. See your loved ones in hell, church. I tell you, I believe it, it would be an hour if God would allow Christian people to do that. In fact, in one place in the Bible, who provides hell during the millennial reign, I think the people can actually look down in hell and see the, all the torments of the But we're in heaven, we can't see that right. because it wouldn't be heaven. Amen. But he was in Abraham, he was he saw Lazarus in Abraham. I mean, the rich man, you know, Lazarus in Abraham's bosom, right. and he saw all those splendor things. Paradise is wonderful, church. Yes, I want to go to paradise with Jesus. Glory to God. And being far off, he saw Lazarus in his bosom, and he cried, on which he prayed. Now, church, this is the time to pray. Right. Not when you're not when you're dead. Not when you uh, wake up and you're in hell. It's too late to pray. Right. You can't pray yourself out. You can't really pray for no one. Now's the time to pray. Now's the time to seek amen. God. Now's the time, amen, to fall at the mercy of Jesus. And I tell you, I thank God he's full of mercy amen. and he's full of grace. And that's his desire to see people saved. And church, let me tell you, we need to quit this uh, tickle people's year. That's all the pastors in the churches. And that's all the people want is you to tickle my right. ear. Amen. If you don't tickle my ear, I'll go somewhere else down the road. And church, let me tell you something. A lot of people are doing that I can have this church four, two or three times if I wanted to tickle their ears. Amen. But they need to be right. told about sin. They need to they be told about hell. They need to you know that you have to be born to give. Amen. They just play around with God. Amen. I'll give a word of hand clap here. He prayed and said, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me. There's no mercy there. I said, there's no mercy there. And said, arrived it that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. He's in literally in the, the in the flames. Amen. And there's no there's no way out. I mean he's there to, for the rest of his time and he has no hope. All hope is gone. All mercy is gone. All, all the prayers is gone. And church be tell you, that's an awful state to be in. But now we have mercy. Now we have goodness. Now we have peace. Now we have blessing. Now we have all the good things. And now is the time to pray. Now is the time to call the mercy of God. Because there'll be a day, amen, this man and this rich man and poor man, they died. The same night they died, because Jesus was telling so with them that you're going to die eventually. Right. Amen. And if you go to the graveyard, you see young, you see old, and all the different ages, and they thought they were going to live forever, church. You're not going to live forever. Amen. 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 They didn't realize they were going to die that night. So one man went to hell, one man went to heaven. You have a choice to make. Don't wait too long to take that choice because church, there's no more mercy, there's no more grace, and there's no more hope. When that last breath is taken out of you, Amen. there is no mercy, no hope. Amen. You could be the best man in the world. Right. You could be the best woman in the world. Amen. God is not looking for a good man or a good woman. He's looking for the saying of God. Amen. Can I hear that man? Verse 25 says, But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest the good things, and likewise lavish the evil thing. But now is the, the now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Think about it, church. I tell you that sometimes, I believe sometimes we need to preach this about once a week or once a month. Because I'll tell you something, church. God's people has no fear anymore. I mean, church, when I was, when I, when I got saved and after I got saved, them pastors and them preachers, them Sunday school teachers, I mean, the, the, every week or two, whatever, they was always talking about hell. Amen. How real hell is and how real heaven is. And if you're not being saved, you're not born to get you either go to one of the places and it's a place of no mercy, no good, but thank God, you're living in a time of grace, you're Amen. living in a time of mercy, and you're living in a time that God can bless you, glory to God, and you can start walking in His 
favor. You think you may have it good now. Wait till you get saved because you're going to have favor with God. That's His word. That's His promise. And He said, I'll bless you, my God. I'll bless you, Lord. I tell you, I've got favor. you got favor. And you're blessed coming in your Lord. You just they didn't realize that you got to be saved. you got to be born again and be a child of God. Thank God I'm a child of God. I said, thank God I'm a child of God. I'm on my, well, I'm on my way to heaven. I'm trying to not get excited with church. I get excited when I talk about heaven. How real heaven is. Oh, glory to God. My wife, just, my daughter here, just they hold her breath. Y'all not supposed to get excited right now. But you got the Holy Ghost. You got God on your side. You can get a little bit excited. But I don't like to hear a dead preacher. I don't like to go to a dead church. And God knows that. Well, Influence. Amen. I said you got influence. Amen. 
Amen. You say, well, I don't have a, yes, you do. Kids look up to parents. Amen. Kids look up to grandparents. Amen. And we need to show them, amen, how much we love God and how much we love them. Amen. I've seen people say, oh, I love my children. I just love them to death. And I'll tell you, every time I get a chance, I'm just going to buy and give them everything. You can't buy love. I said, you can't buy love. Amen. You got to show them, amen, that you love them by discipline them, by showing them, by telling them, amen, when they're not walking right or doing right, that you need to discipline them, amen. And that's the same way with people in church. The pastor has to discipline them. You have to discipline your kids and let them know it's wrong. It's amazing. People kill, rob, and everything else. My little kids didn't do that. I raised them up different. Have you, have you never heard that? Right. Killers and robbers and rapists and everything else. My kid just couldn't do that. Well, if you tuck them to church and everything like you ought to and be dedicated and committed to God, amen, they would follow your path. Amen. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, sir. Amen. He says, Lord, Abraham, I've got five brothers. I've got family. Now, I don't want them to come to this awful place. Amen. They should, he should have been thinking about that, praying about that before he got there. Amen. 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 That's what we got to think about. I, I don't want you to go there. God don't want you to go there. And you shouldn't want your kids to go. And you, do, you shouldn't want to go. Amen. Hell is real and heaven is real too. Amen. Oh, I, got, I tell you, yeah. the Bible just shows us so many good things about it. In fact, he don't show us all of them. You know that? We just get a glimpse. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has been to the heart of man. What God has prepared for them, well, glory that loves him. Yeah. And those that wait upon him, I have said, so tough, we, should get, we should really get enthused and have some, maybe some, some solace, have some love, and yeah. have some happy and joy about it. The Bible says, well, let's go. Well, this is church night. I just hate to go. They, they, they say all night. <laughs> and they're so loud. I just hate to go. Sister so and so stands up and she might she talks for 15 minutes. Or brother so and so. I just, I, just, I, I just don't feel the Lord. I just hate to go to church but I don't feel nothing. Well, let me tell you something. If you go to church, don't feel nothing. It's your fault. Right. Yeah. Because the same Jesus that lives in you, he lives in them. Now, your name Amen. Amen. We need to quit stop making excuses, amen. You need to start serving God and bring your children to church, amen. And let them know, amen, this is the best thing that they can have. So you don't need no drugs, you don't need no alcohol, you don't need no sex, you don't need none of that. Just give me the God will bless you, come and bless you, Lord. And that's the best thing you need to do. Glory to God. Oh, I'm trying to hurry. I'm just doing it. Well, I'll be in. Doing this when I get home. <laughs> Since I've known it, they got the Holy Ghost. I'm going to enjoy it. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Lord. Lord, verse 48 says, I have five brethren. And he said, and they, and they he said, for well, I have five brothers that he may testify unto them, these they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the, and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if you went out, from the, out unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Right. And you know what? Amen. We have one Amen. that rose from Jesus the dead. Yeah. And you'd be amazed at how many yeah. people that don't serve God. Like that song said, I believe. I believe in Jesus. They've been the Son of God. I believe He was a virgin. I believe He died on the cross of Calvary, shed His blood, glory to God. And now He's He's been resurrected. Now sitting on the right hand side of the Father. And He's coming back one day to be in you. And you have the word of the devil's head. Give him all the hand. I don't want you to go there. God don't want you to go there. He wants you to get saved, delivered. What's holding you back? I'm asking the to you, man. What's holding you back? Right. What's holding you? Are well, you going to places you don't need to go to? Are you holding on to things that you don't need to be holding to? Are you watching or seeing things that, that you should be seeing that's right. holding you back? Amen. What is holding you back amen, from receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? This may be the last opportunity that you may ever have. God loves you. God sent His Son to die for you. And He wants you to go to heaven. 
Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes